everyone, my name is Sam, and thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and give the video a thumbs up. I apologize, I'm not all done up, but I am just got back from a conference and I just don't even have the will to live right now, let alone put makeup on, so. So I went into January being like, girl, you hauled like over 20 books in December. Let's be, let's be gentle to your wallet and to your bookshelf because you're running out of space. That very quickly ran out the window about halfway through the month when Indigo had a sale on. And then I had books that I ordered through work and kind of forgot about ordering through work uh, that finally showed up. So, yeah. The first book that I picked up this month was Mark's Woman by Rati Ma Maratra. I apologize if, apologize if I didn't say that right. Um, this is actually a Canadian author, which I was really, really psyched to learn about. This was a book I... I order through work and kind of forgot about, but it sounds really interesting. The cover just totally sold me before I even read the premise, but I know that there is a main female character who is like a part of like these elite assassin killing people, and her mentor dies under some mysterious circumstances. So that is where that goes. I was kind of actually sad I got it through work because I went to a bookstore when I was in Toronto at my conference and there's a signed copy there, but I couldn't justify buying a new author that I had no, like hadn't heard anything about the book itself of. And, I mean, she's Canadian, but, like, it was paperback. Ugh, I just, I didn't end up buying it. And I might feel horribly wrong about doing that after I read this. But my copies of Sebastian's de Castell's Spellslinger and Shadow Black finally came in. I'm so excited. I finally own physical copies of these. They are not available for physical copies in Canada. And apparently, according to the author, it's, like, one of the few countries where that is, despite him being a Canadian author. But apparently they're coming to Canada, someone finally picked them up, but I heard they might change the covers, which I'm pretty disappointed about, so I hope I can still keep buying these covers for the rest of the six book series. We'll see. But yeah, so magic, dueling, family, drama, mentor, crazy is like the easiest way I can explain these. I've done reviews on this one like last week or something like that. And I think I read this one before I started doing all my stuff, but I have a Goodreads review of it. Loved them. And there's squirrel cats in them, which is exactly what the word sounds like. A squirrel cat. And he is sassy. And I now want one. So, yeah. Finally happy I have physical copies of these. The covers are, like, freaking gorgeous. And the backs, ooh, the backs all say, like, kind of, like, like, just things that make sense when you read the books. And the end pages are really pretty, too. It's just... Highly, highly recommend this this author in general. I picked up a copy of Batman Nightwalker by Marie Liu on opening day. It is one of the few books that I've ever gone to my local bookstore, which is super, super small and very, very limited in stock. And they've actually had a copy of it. I was like mind blown by that. But I picked it up and actually did a review for it, which I will link in the description down below. But we have a teenage Bruce Wayne who has to work off some community hours in the Arkham Asylum in the like high secure facility area which makes total sense and yeah he meets a character and there's a little, little bit of romance but um yeah batman i am so excited my copy of this finally got here the defiant by leslie livingston the sequel to the valiant i reread the valiant last month so i'm super ready for this it's female gladiator set in rome so she's staying in rome so that's that's really all i know it's pretty interesting and I'm kind of sad, though, that um, the bookstore that I went to when I was in Toronto was having Leslie Livingston doing, like, a Q&A signing this week, but I left on Sunday, so it's pretty sad about that, but nonetheless, another Canadian author. I just realized how many Canadian authors are in this. I also picked up Everless by Sarah Holland. I... I've, pers like, specifically stayed very blind to what the synopsis of this story is. I just feel like I should for some reason. But I know that there's time, and time is, like, a currency, and the main character is, like, trying to save her father or something like that. Once again, I'll link all these in the description down below, and you can read the summary if you're super, super interested. Or if you somehow haven't heard of this, I'm pretty sure it's now a New York Times bestseller, like, a couple weeks after it came out. So I'm just super excited to get to this. I'm hoping to get to it in January. And I'm hoping I really enjoy it. This is totally because of the Indigo sale, but I picked up a, a hardcover copy of A Treacherous Curse. I said I was going to wait for the paperback to come out, but do you know how long I would have had to wait? And by the time I was like, oh, Treacherous Curse comes out in a month, I'm going to hold it, place a hold on my library for it. There are already like 20 people in front of me. So I'm not waiting that long for this book, and I'm very happy I didn't. So I ordered a copy when Indigo had a sale, and this wasn't sale, but something else was, and I needed to get over a $25 mark. So that is my total 
legitimate justification for buying this. And I literally read it the day that I got it. So yeah, I can't really say anything about it because it's the third book in the Veronica Speedwell series if you haven't read the first two books, but it's Veronica and Stoker and there's like a, someone's gone missing when they were doing a dig in Egypt in like the Pharaoh's kind of area, digging out tombs and all that stuff. So, and we meet Stoker's ex-wife. This was, that was, she was an interesting character for sure. So if you liked the first two books, Definitely pick this one up. There's a lot of funny quips in it. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Um, <laughs> partially because it's a duplicate, but my copy, and I didn't pay for it, but my copy of The Black Witch by Laurie Forrest came. I won this on, on her Twitter giveaway when she was revealing the cover for The Iron Flower. So I got this and a pair of earrings that have flowers on them that are blue that look kind of like the cover. So, but the coolest part of this is when you open it, woo, she signed it for me. I'm really happy about that. It's so sweet. I'm so excited I have another copy. I actually absolutely adore this book. I've been like pioneering people reading it and getting over like all the non-people who, people who rated it on Goodreads and didn't actually read it and say they didn't read it. So I'm trying to get people to read it and form their own opinions and stop being so like following the leader kind of thing. So yeah, I'm so excited I have another copy of it. Oh. Uh, I mean, like, my other copy is, like, flagged, like, not, I mean, I, I, you've seen it in videos. It's flagged all over the place with sticky notes and everything like that. So, now I have, like, two copies. I'm so excited. Ah. Another Indigo Sale purchase. I finally pick up, picked up Akata Witch. This is the first book, and I believe it's going to be a trilogy. I know the second book is out. So I, I picked up, I remember seeing this cover, or I remember seeing this title on Book Outlet, and the summary sounds interesting. It's like Nigerian Harry Potter. And, but I didn't like the first cover. That's what it looked like. I, I think it was supposed to be more like a Nigerian, like showing that off. But for some reason, they decided to change the cover in the second book. So this is the second cover. Um, so they redid the paperback cover of the first book. But I don't think they're redoing the hardcover of the first book. So I'm hoping I really, really enjoyed this. I'm hearing nothing but like really, really high praise for this book. Not just like, oh my god, I loved the Harry Potter thing. But like legitimate praise for like the writing and the world and like World Fantasy Award winning author. So I got high hopes for it. And I'm hoping to get to it in March. I'm not totally sure if I'm going to be able to do that. But that's the goal. And my last haul of January. Well, no. Last haul in this video is Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. I actually got an arc of this book and really, really enjoyed it. It's like super diverse in terms of LGBT. We have a straight relationship, um, a male-male relationship, and a female-female relationship. And honestly, the female-female relationship was so good. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that in the next book. Um, the cover is gorgeous too, so that's why I was like, mm, I need a finished copy. Like, it's not okay that I don't own a cover that looks this pretty. But there's like necromancy and royalty and um r a little bit of romance but it's not the main focus it's just super super interesting and i really enjoyed it i loved the world i'm really excited for whenever the sequel does come out and i found it is also on voices as well for bisexual i would very high someone who has read this book if you're very on the fence about it i would really really highly recommend it though it was just i really really enjoyed it the main character goes through a lot and it was really well done and yeah. So those are all my like regular book hauls of January. And I mean, like when I look at it, I'm like, oh, it wasn't as bad as December. But I mean, December is the holiday. So I don't know if that's a really good comparison. But I, however, went to a conference at the end of the month and oh my good God arcs. So I will be doing a separate video for that because I just, it would be like a bajillion minutes long. So I am going to be doing a video probably filming it in the next week or so of all the arcs I picked up at my conference in Ontario and yeah make sure to check the description box for links to all the books that I mentioned as well as links to all of my social media if you follow me I will follow you back